kind of just want to get up here on the description. But um, I am. I just want you to understand what the scripture is. Uh, scripture, gospel, means good news. And there's like a heavy, heavy, heavy presence um, in the building. There's a lot of pain today. And for your pain, May I give you good news? Yeah. Um, so if you would stand for the word of God. This is Luke 16, 1 through 13. Jesus told his disciples. There was a rich man whose manager was accused of wasting his possessions. So he called him in and asked him, What is this I hear about you? Give an account of your management, because you cannot be a manager any longer. The manager said to himself, What shall I do now? My master is taking away my job. I am not strong enough to dig, and I am ashamed to beg. I know that I'll do so that when I see when I lose my job here, people will welcome me into their houses. So he called in each one of his master's debtors. He asked the first, how much do you owe my master? 800 gallons of olive oil, he replied. The manager told him, take your bill, sit down quickly, and make it 400. Then he asked the second, how much do you owe? A thousand bushels of wheat, he replied. He told him, take your bill and make it 800. The master commended the dishonest manager. He had acted shrewdly, for the people of this world are more shrewd in dealing with their own kind than they are the people of the light. I tell you, use, use worldly wealth to gain friends for yourselves, so that when it is gone, you will be welcomed into, into eternal dwellings. Whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. And whoever is dishonest with very little will also be dishonest with much. So if you have not been trustworthy in handling worldly wealth, who will trust you with true riches? And if you have not been trustworthy with someone else's property, who will give you property of your own? No servant can serve two masters. Either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Bless the hearing, the doing, um, and the reading of this word. 